Alrighty guys, finally after so much struggling to get this light to do what I wanted to do, Matt finally came through for me. He um the whole time I had it I had it was a grounding issue. I didn't really ground one of the pins for the thing. So Matt sent me a schematic. Uh which is hang on, let me pull it up on my computer here. One moment. Okay, here we go. This is from Matt from the traffic light group. Big shout out to you, Matt, because this, this thing was giving me a headache and I could not figure it out. But thanks to your schematic, it all made sense. So, and if you're all wondering which Matt I'm talking about, I thought to show his name here somewhere. Give me one moment. Um, where is it? There we go, Matt McCain. Huge shout out to you, Matt. You have definitely helped me with this headache of a traffic light here. All right, let me stand back. As you all know, I wanted the light, when it sensed motion, to do a green light. And when there was no motion, just constantly do a yellow flashing light. So I kept trying and trying and trying. And finally, he, he showed me the light. No pun intended. But um, it was a grounding issue, um, and with his schematic, I was able to finally get this thing to work. So right now, it's in yellow flashing mode because it didn't sense motion. But as you can see, the motion light at the top, I'm not sure, you probably see it better on a bigger screen, but as soon as I approach it, the motion light, I mean, the motion will sense me and turn green, give me a green light. So if I back up, stay out of range, it should go through. Yeah, you have to excuse the mess over here. I was. This is just a bunch of construction over or leftover construction from trying to fiddle with this thing. But okay, so now it's turning yellow. It should do a flashing, or a flashing yellow. Now if I don't get in there. Um, on its next cycle, it will do another yellow flashing once again because it's not going to sense me. And um, I'll wait till it turns red and do another cycle. And then I'll come in, I'll physically come into the, uh, the what you call it here, the area of detection and it will turn green. Once again, Matt, you are a huge lifesaver. I've, I've been stressing about this about for a month now because I just couldn't figure out why I was not getting what I wanted to get out of the thing. I thought it was the coding, which now think about it, I might actually still have had the coding right, I guess. But without your, like I said, your wiring help, I would have never figured this thing out. So it's going to do this little yellow flashing thing here. Wait for it to turn red. Give it a few seconds here. I forget what the timing was on it. Oh, see the motion sensor sensed me over here. I was moving a little bit. So that means it's a good motion sensor. Anywho, um, you get the gist of it now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Matt. Now I can finally put this thing in my room. And if it turns green and I'm not moving, it means time to move out. <laughs> But anyway, Matt also helped me with my uh, code over here for my uh, window lights um, with that Arduino there. So basically, this light here is independent of one, two, three, and four. So all four of these lights change, you know, walk, green, whatever. And then this one's kind of on its own little thing. So another Matt code. He helped me out a lot there. Thank you, Matt. Um, but yeah, it's, it's working pretty good. Now this one, I'm standing still, so if I turn a little bit, trip the sensor, I should get a green. Move up a little bit here. There we go. Green light. Matt, you just have no idea. I can't thank you enough. I gotta send you some money for a beer or something. But anyways, um... And actually, while I got you in the video, Matt, well, not in the video, but on the video, uh, let me show you what I had to do here, because I kind of had to rig it. Basically, um, hang on, let me grab a chair. Uh, well, no, I'm not kidding. Anyway, 
from your diagram, I actually had to use one of those terminal strip thingies. So I got the wire coming from the motion sensor going here, as well as the one coming from pin two tied into that one. And then on the other side, I have the resistor coming down and run into the ground. So it's kind of like an offshoot of the, the, the uh, schematic you sent me, but pretty much the same thing, because I can't figure out how to get two wires into here. That was, I don't know if they make like a double header type pin somewhere, but I kind of had to do it this way, but it works. Like right now it's flashing yellow. As you can tell, I'm excited. All right, so it's flashing yellow. So if I move in front of it again, I should get a green. <sighs> Come on, green. There we go. I had to move a little bit. But anyway, thanks to Matt, this project is finally, and I say finally, finished. Everyone have a good night. Over and out.